Welcome to our next Inventor Fusion exercise. In this tutorial, I'm going to create an assembly. Let's start with a new sketch on the XY plane, and we'll take a top view. Now let's activate the center point rectangle tool. Our rectangle will be 100 millimeters by 40 millimeters. Press Escape to exit the tool. Just zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to place a few circles. 10 millimeters in diameter. The next circle will be 2.5 millimeters in radius. And same thing here, another circle of 2.5 millimeter radius. One more circle here. Press Escape to exit the tool. Now let's create a two-point rectangle. First point and second point. Let's exit the sketch, stop sketch. I'll activate the extrude command and select the regions I'm going to extrude. Just a few more here. We'll drag the handle down 5 millimeters in the negative Z direction. Select New Component and click OK. Let's bring back Sketch 1. Right click, Activate Component, Extrude, and I'll select these two regions. The depth will be 10 millimeters. The Boolean option will be Join. Let's click OK. And here we've created the base for our assembly. If I leave this component active, the next component I create will be nested. To avoid this, I'm going to make the top component active. Now let's activate the extrude command. And I'll select these regions. It'll be a 5 mm extrusion. Select New Component, and click OK. To finish the wheel, let's make this component active. Back to the Extrude command. Let's select this region. Just drag the handle, 10 millimeters. We'll use the Join Boolean option and click OK. And here is our wheel. Lastly, I'd like to create a follower that will be a separate component. Let's right click up here, select Activate Component. Now deselect everything and activate the Extrude command. And let's select our last region. This extrusion will be 3 millimeters in depth. For Boolean options, let's select New Component and click OK. And let's hide Sketch 1. So here's all the components we'll be using in this assembly. We're able to grab them and drag them freely around the graphic area. I do need one more wheel, however, and I'm just going to copy this wheel. Let's right-click, select Copy, go back up to the top level, right-click, Paste New. Let's just move the wheel slightly so we can distinguish one from the other. And let's click OK. We're ready to assemble our parts. Let's activate the Assemble tool. I'll select the first two faces I'd like to constrain. I hover over this glyph, and I've got three constraint options, Mate, Flush, and Angle. Select Flush, and click OK. Activate the Assemble tool again. Now I'll select the geometry I want to position, this cylindrical face, and this cylindrical face. Under Constraint Type, we've got a few options, Align, Center, and Tangent. Let's Align, and click OK. Let's do the same procedure for the second wheel. Assemble, select the first face and the second face. Click OK. Assemble. This cylindrical face. The Align option is automatically pre-selected for us. Let's click OK. Lastly, we need to mate the follower. Assemble. Select this face and this face. A line is pre-selected, let's click OK. 
Let's click on the Assemble tool, select this face and this face. Click OK. Last Mate, Assemble. Select this face and this face. The Flush option is automatically pre-selected. Let's click OK. Finally, let's assign some colors to our component. Right-click, Material. We're on the Visual tab. Let's choose a color from the wheel, a dark color. Okay, right click on component three, material. Let's make this wheel red. Okay, and right click on component four, material. Let's make the follower green. And the last component is the wheel. Right click, material. Let's make it blue. Close. We are almost ready to test how our mechanism works. First, we have to ground one component for it to work properly. So let's ground the base. Right click and scroll down to grounded. When something is grounded, it doesn't move. Let's test our assembly to make sure we've made it everything properly and everything works just fine. And this concludes this Inventor Fusion assembly exercise tutorial.